Hello, fashionistas and fellow beauty followers. Today, I'm going to be sharing a little secret with you, or I like to call it my dirty little secret. Um, although it's really not a secret anymore since I'm sharing it with you all and I share it with pretty much everyone that's in my chair or people I talk to, but um, it's a good one. So, anyhow. Um, Number one question I have in my chair is how often am I supposed to be washing my hair? And everyone is completely different. Everyone has completely different hair types versus whether it's oily, dry, thick, fine. Um, but most of it just comes down to personal preference, whether um, you don't mind your hair a little dirty or you have to have that freshly clean, um, you know, silky hair every day. Um, this is my hair just woken up, so keep that in mind. I'm, I'm giving you hair tips, okay? <laughs> Make it look better here in a second. Um, but anyway, I tell people never to wash your hair every single day. Dep no matter what, anybody shouldn't wash, nobody should wash their hair every single day. It's super drying and you're stripping your hair of all those natural oils that your, you know, your hair and your scalp need. So never wash once a day if you're super gotta wash it every day, go down to once every other day. Um, when I first started to not wash my hair daily was about, I don't know, a few years ago. It really, really started when I went red, um, from dark to red, because uh, washing my hair every day, I would have no color anymore. So I was almost forced to not wash it every day. But um, I used to be that person that needed my hair freshly clean every day. I wanted it to be super silky smooth and soft, and now I don't want to feel any products in it. Um, but then I went around complaining every day how my hair is so long and stringy and it's not volumized. I never get volume. My curls never hold. I never get that beachy wave. And I had a fellow stylist say to me, uh, it's because you wash your hair every day. Duh. And I'm like, well, I can't not wash my hair every day. I just can't. And she's like, get a dry shampoo and try it. Don't wash your hair. And uh, eventually, maybe not at first, but after a few weeks, your scalp will get used to not being cleansed every single day. And it'll stop producing as much oils as it used to. So it definitely takes a little time to adjust. But um, I said, well, how long am I supposed to be going? And she said, you know, I only wash my hair every once every four days. I'm like, four days? I can't go four days without washing my hair. It's not, it's not possible. And she's just like, don't knock until you try it. You'll have amazing hair. And she's like, just I challenge you to try it. And I'm like, okay, I'll try it. So um, I tried it, and at first I hated it. But the more I did it, the more I started to love it. And now I can't fathom washing my hair every day. I can't imagine having the time to do it. I mean, I used to. I still wake up early, but I used to have to, you know, shower, blow my hair out, curl it. I mean, it took forever. Who has time to do that? I don't have time to do that. Um, so I lo I'm loving the more time, you know, part of it. Um, but also, the volume towards day four that I get is just, is crazy. Um, and obviously then... <laughs> the question that immediately follows when I recommend to clients not to wash their hair for four days, they're like, well... I need to shower every morning and blah, blah. Obviously, you still shower or bathe yourself. Um, if you are that person that needs to wake up every morning and jump in the shower to wake up, put a shampoo cap on and don't get your hair wet. That works fine. Me, personally, I don't love showers. I don't find them relaxing at all. I'd much rather take a nice hot soak at night, take a nice bath. Um, so I do, at, at night, I have a glass of wine, um, put some nice soaking salts, in my bath and that's a little relaxation time for me. So I like to do that at night <clears throat> and then um, with my skincare routine, blah, blah, blah. And um, I always put my hair in pony when I sleep, otherwise it's a matted mess and just <clears throat> kind of crazy. So I just put it in a pony and I wake up and I look like this. I look like this. <laughs> so um, anyway, so I'm gonna share my little dirty little secret with you now. So I wake up like this. Um, on my quest to perfect hair, I have tried every dry shampoo out there. Every, every dry shampoo. If I haven't tried it, please comment below 
inbox me whatever and let me know if you have a great shampoo, dry shampoo that you are obsessed with. Um, one that I haven't tried that I've heard is really good is Bumble. Um, and Bumble has um, like a colored dry shampoo for brown, you know, whatever. They don't ever make a red one that I know of. If anybody has a red, colored red dry shampoo, sign me up. But I have yet to find one. So, um, so I'll talk about products a little bit first. So my favorite at the moment, and they just released it. I don't know, maybe not just, but it's recent. It's Redken. Redken Powder Refresh Aerosol Hair Powder Slash Dry Shampoo. It looks like this. And uh, there's a lot of salons that have Redken around out there. So I'm sure they have it. The reason why I like this is because it gives my hair a very clean feel. Um, it feels clean, not like I'm spraying more product on it. Okay, um, and I like that it's not overly white powderish. Um, that I that's why I like it. And the aroma. And number one big thing for me using all Aveda products, Aveda doesn't make a dry shampoo. So anyway, um, I'm used to that really natural, great smell aroma. Um, and a lot of these have disgusting aromas, so that's why I haven't liked them. So Redken is very neutral aroma, very. Okay, so this is my favorite at the moment. Um, one I don't have here to show you though is my second favorite, which is Big Sexy Hair. Comes in like a little red can, and that's their dry shampoo. That's my second favorite. That is perfect for fine hair um, because it's volumizing. Thus the name Big Sexy Hair. Um, but sometimes that feels a little because there's so much volumizing styling aids in the dry shampoo that sometimes it feels a little like I'm not really cleaning my hair I'm actually just putting more crap over my dirty hair so it's great for like your first day or like your second day so your first day of dirty hair um, it's great for that because sometimes it's still really soft you need a little product it's great for that um, but like day four when you're getting pretty gross then this is better because it's like a cleaner feeling okay so favorite Redken dry shampoo um, but I'll give you a couple of other ones that I have tried that I like I just don't love catwalk um, TIGI makes this it's called transforming dry shampoo um, the aroma is very neutral and nice on this one that's why I liked it you also it leaves you a very nice clean feeling um, which is nice but the reason why I don't like this one is because it's really white and powdery so if you had blonde hair, this would be probably great for you because I do kind of like this one the best, but it's just too white and powdery for me. On my red hair, it's like, I've not noticed it before, like in spots and I go to work, but someone's like, what the frick is in your hair? Yeah, like white paint or something and I'm looking and there's like a big chunk of like white powder. So um, obviously you want to kind of screw it in, which I'll show you, but a um, little too white for me. So blondes, great. Darks or reds, nuked so much. Um, for aroma wise, my favorite is the Kendra Platinum Color Care Dry Shampoo. Refresh and revive. Um, this is the most expensive. This is about 30-ish retail, I think-ish. I don't know for sure. I'm really bad looking at prices. Um, because if I want to try something, I just try it. But my cost, I believe, is 15 So I would say retail about 30 ish And the rest of these probably retail at about 20 So, you know, I would say most dry shampoos are $20, usually. Um, 30 would be high-end. So Kinder is definitely the most expensive, and it's the smallest can, if you can see that. Well, they don't. It's the smallest can. I'll take my word for it. Uh, Big Sexy Hair is pretty small, too, but um, I don't know. Anyway. Best Aroma by far. But, and it did leave my hair very clean, but it was the powderiest. Like it comes up in a spray powder kind of thing, but it was just like psh, white. So way too much for me. Um, blondes, this would probably be your best bet. So super. Okay. Um, I guess those, I think those are the only ones I've tried. 
Oh, no, I have tried um, TIGI, not the catwalk, just the TIGI. Um, I like that one, too, but again, that feels really gritty in your hair, and it makes it feel too much of a buildup, not like a clean feel for me. Sure. That's why I didn't like that one. Um, I've only tried one brand of dry conditioner, as I love this one, so I haven't need to, needed to stray. Um, and I think it retails for around 20 as well. But I, the dry conditioner lasts you way longer, so you don't use as much. But it's actually called Dirty Secret mm -hmm. Rockaholic G.I.G.I. Rockaholic also makes a dry shampoo called My Dirty Little Secret or something like that. Um, but I didn't like it because it was too dirty feeling. Uh, this is great though, dry conditioner. Not everyone needs dry conditioner if your hair is more oily, but for me, I'm oily at my scalp and dry to my ends, so I need both. So, enough talking. A shirt doing. Okay. So, first I'll just take out my pony. Okay, and obviously my hair is going to be a little crazy, obviously, but we're going to tame it down. So, to some people, and you at first, you might take out your pony or, or go to do your hair and you're thinking, this is crazy. There's no way I can tame this wild mane down and make it look like I actually did my hair today without shampooing it and blowing it out all over again. No, you have little faith. You can. You can. It just might take some practice. So, don't overly brush your hair um, because you kind of want it to be a little like, you know, um, messy. Just kind of get in the back. And if you wear a pony to bed it, and wear use a satin pillowcase, key, key is a cat satin pillowcase. I tell you, um, doesn't pull your face, doesn't wrinkle, and doesn't tear your hair apart. Okay, so you shouldn't have a lot of craziness back there if you put it in a pillow. You know, pony. Um, okay, so you're just gonna kind of. I like to use a pick. The technical name for this is probably not pick, but growing up with my mother, Carol, for, you know, ever, this is what she calls them, a pick. So, or a lift, to really go old school on you. Um, I suppose they're just called a lifting comb. I don't know, I don't read the label. I don't really use these at the salon. Um, but for myself, it works the best. Although, if I was combing out my hair wet, I would use a wide tooth comb, like show. But the best works, you know. To pick your hair out. Let's just pick it. Okay. So we just got a little tangle out. You know, little tangles up here maybe. I can't see very good, so I might have to look at the mirror here. Sorry to do that, but. Okay, so we just took our tangles out. So we have no tangles, and obviously it looks even a little more crazy now. But that's okay. We're gonna fix that. So we're gonna start right here, which you probably can't see the oil in my hair um, in the video, but it's there, my friend. It's there. In the mirror here, I can really see it. It's just like, you know, just greasy looking. So we're gonna fix that. So I start <clears throat> pretty much like where my, you know, kind of middle-ish, and you're gonna shake it. Like a Polaroid picture. Otherwise, it comes out weirdish. So about like so. So I don't know if that's, I don't know, 10 inches, okay? And if you can kind of see, it's not really white, but, you know, you kind of see it, okay? But we're going to do something afterwards. Then you're just going to lift a section up, like show. And I kind of do like a little thing. I don't really go because you get too much, but you just want to get alongside your part. You don't want to just put it in one spot. And then it seems like the farther down I go, really the less I really need it. I don't get quite as oily in the back here. It's more so on the sides. So you can kind of see it's a little white right there, but we're gonna we're gonna shake it up. And then I usually get really oily like right in my bang. My bangs seem to get really oily, so I really kind of get my bangs the best. In here. Not so much here or here, but right here. It's a 
someone asked me the other day, why do you talk so weird in your videos? Why do you have such weird accents all the time? 